Hello dear students, welcome back to Royce and Creations YouTube channel. In this video, let us analyze Maths Preparatory Exam Question Paper 2023-24. So this is the model question paper children. I am not saying this paper will come to your preparatory exam. So I am already discussing many preparatory model question paper. So you can get the pattern and many questions will be repeat in your final exam and in the preparatory exam so that you can score good marks in your exam so practice the question paper i'll give it all the question paper with the solution so practice thoroughly so directly i'm going to the question paper because you know the pattern the first main is choose the correct alternative for the following questions from the given four alternatives and write their alphabets so along with the alphabets new alphabets jyote ke new answer na bari beko First question, in an AP, AN is equal to 7 minus 4N. Then the common difference is, so they have given here, AN is equal to 7 minus 4N. So they are asking the common difference. Common difference means A1 minus A2 minus A1. Then only you will get the common difference. So you give the value, AN is equal to 7 minus 4N. Means you give A1 is equal to what happened. Here if you are given 1, 7 minus 4, how much you will get? 3 you will get. Again, a2 you do it so again you will get 4 2s are 8 so minus 1 so like that if you are going on doing you will get the ap so then you do it a2 minus a1 so a2 minus a1 if you will do it you will get the answer minus 4 the common difference is a minus 4 why because minus 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 4 so option b minus 4 is the right answer Second question, if the pair of linear equations a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0, having infinite solution, then the correct ratio is, relation is, they are asking children, infinite ratio. See here they have given the four option. So infinite ratio, in which relationship we are going to get, we are getting a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 then only in this relation only we are going to get the infinite solution so option c is the right answer next third question ap and bp are rectangles to o centered circle angle apb is equal to 40 degree then the measure of aob is 140 degree 90 degree and 40 degree and 50 degree so here you should know that a o b p it's a quadrilateral so when it is a quadrilateral first you know that when the tangent is formed here it is always 90 degree here also 90 degree so easily you can find out a o b that is 90 degree plus 40 degree plus 90 degree is equal to plus o is equal to 360 degree so adding all these things and subtracting from 360 degree you are going to get 140 degree therefore a o b is 140 degree is the right answer fourth question the distance between the point a 0 comma 5 and b minus 5 comma 0 5 units 2 root 2 5 units 5 root 2 units root 10 units so here you have to use the distance formula distance formula d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so then you will get 5 root 2 units so option c is the right answer next fifth question if 180 is equal to 2 to the power of x into 3 to the power of 2 into 5 then x represent then so here see 3 3 is a 9 9 5 is a how much you are going to get 45 so 45 how much are you are going to get 180 children so 45 2 to the power 2 45 4 is a how much you are going to get 180 therefore 2 to the power 2 that means the x value will become 2 option d is the right answer sixth question trigonometric identity of 1 plus cos square theta is so what is the value of 1 plus cos square theta that is a cosecant square theta therefore option a is the right answer seventh question if the probability of winning a match is 0.85 then the probability of losing the match so 0.8 times the probability of winning so losing means 1 minus 0.85 if you will do it you are going to get the answer that is a 0.5 so option c is the right answer eighth question a cone of height h centimeter is a surmounted on a hemisphere of radius r centimeter then the volume of a solid is 
so here there is a cone and also hemisphere so you should know the uh, this one volume of cone plus volume of hemisphere so the option b volume of cone is 2 by 3 pi r cube hemisphere uh, volume is that is 1 by 3 pi r square h therefore the option b is the right answer the next main answer the following question here eight questions will be there each question carry one marks ninth question state converse of uh, pythagoras theorem what is the pythagoras theorem in a right angle in a triangle the square of the biggest side is equal to sum of square of other two sides then the angle opposite to the biggest side is a right angle so if you are writing the statement then you are going to get a one marks children next 10th question the cost of 5 pencil and the 7 pencil is rupees 50 represent it in the form of linear equation in two variables so they are given the cost of pencil x and the cost of pen is y therefore very easy 5 pen means 5x plus 7 pen means 7, 7 uh, 5 pencil 5x plus 7 pencil 7y that is equal to 50 so like that only you should write it next uh, 11th question the diameter of a circle is 14 centimeter then find the length of an arc of semi circle so here diameter they have given children that is 14 centimeter radius easily we can find out because d by 2 if you will do it you will get the radius 7 centimeter therefore length of a arc of semicircle is pi r so pi means 22 by 7 into 7 because r is a 7 7 7 get cancer therefore the answer is 22 centimeter next 12th question find the coordinates of midpoint of line joining the points P comma P three comma four and Q nine comma two. They are asking the midpoint. So here you should use the midpoint formula that is x one plus x two by two comma y one plus y two by two. So here x one y one x two y two. So substitute the value three plus nine divided by two comma four plus two by two. Therefore twelve by two comma six by two two ones are two six are two ones are two three are. Therefore the midpoint is the coordinate of a midpoint is a six comma three. Next 13th question, express the denominator of 7 by 80 in the form of 2 to the power of m into 5 to the power of n and write whether it is a terminating or non-terminating reoccurring decimal expansion. So write it 7 by 10, 7 by 80 we can write it as 80 we can write it 2 to the power of 4 into 5 to the power of 1. Therefore it is a terminating decimal expansion. Next to 14 question, sin theta is equal to 5 by 3 and cos theta is equal to 4 by 5. Then the value of sin square theta plus cos square theta very easy. 3 by 5 whole square plus 4 by 5 whole square. So do it. So what happens? 3 3 is a 9, 5 5 is a 25 plus 4 4 is a 16, 5 5 is a 25. So denominators are same. Directly we can add that is 25 by 25. So 1 1 cancel. So that is 1. Next 15th question, the degree of polynomial is x to the power of 3 plus 2x square minus 5x minus 6 is, see the highest degree is 3, therefore the degree of polynomial is 3 only. 16th question, the volume of a cuboidal iron rod of dimension 10 centimeter into 5 centimeter into 2 centimeter. So we have to find out the volume of a cuboid. So we have a formula length into breadth into height. Therefore, 100 centimeter cube is the right answer. Now we can go to the third main that is 2 marks question answer. 17th question find 20th terms of an AP 5 comma 9 comma 13 by using the formula. So they are asking 20th term. So don't get confusion here. We should not use the sum of the AP should be a n formula we have to use it so here they given the ap that is first term is a is equal to 5 and the common difference a to minus a1 if you are doing you'll get the answer is 4 so we should find out 20th term so a20 we have to find out therefore formula you know that a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 is 3 so a means 5 plus 19 d why because 20th term we should find out 20 minus 1 19 d so now you substitute the value of d that is 4 19 4 is 76 76 plus 5 81 so a 20 is 81 next 18th question they are given the elimination question that is a solve 2x plus y is equal to 14 and x plus y is equal to 14 so children 
I'll expl I'll give it the passing package which are the questions will come to your exam so the same questions only the number will change so you practice thoroughly see here they are given the solve so here you have to make it children equation 1 and equation 2 so 2x plus y is equal to 14 and 3 is equation 1 x plus y is equal to 4 that is equation 2 so now subtract 1 and 2 so you change the values uh, this one change the sign so then it will become plus minus y cancel agatha so gagi x is equal to 10 so now we got the value of x is equal to 10 so our value na substitute in the equation 1 or 2 any equation you can use so i am taking the second equation so that is y is equal to 4 minus x y is equal to 4 minus 10 therefore y is equal to minus 6 so y value minus 6 Next, we will go to the 19th question. There, they are asking the construction that is construct a pair of tangent to a circle of radius 3 cm from a point 8 cm away from its center. So, here, this is the 3 radius circle. First, 3 radius circle and now join. That is why we have 8 cm. That is why we have midpoint and tangent so circle click half marks line click half marks arc click half marks tangent half marks so this marks divide next to 20th question in the adjoining triangle ABC AD perpendicular to BC and AD square is equal to BD into CD prove that AB square plus AC square is equal to BD plus CD whole square or in the given figure angle BAC is equal to 90 degree and AD perpendicular to BC prove that AC square is equal to BC into DC. So now we will take the first question in a triangle see this is a triangle children see here see in a triangle AD perpendicular to BC so AD and agide, BC ke perpendicular agide. and AD square is equal to BD into CD. So, so, therefore, in a triangle ABC, see in a triangle ABC, ABC is a right angle triangle. Therefore, angle A is 90 degree. So, we can show that, we can see that AB square, AB square is equal to BC into BD. Right. So, take it as a equation 1. That is AC square, AC square is equal to BC into DC. So, equation 2. So, add 1 and 2. Therefore, AD, AB square plus AC square is equal to Eradral common any there. BC. So, take it outside. Remaining yaw there. BD plus DC. Right. So, BC is nothing but we can write BD plus DC. I can tell you there. So, BD plus DC and add maadi there will get BC. Therefore, we can write it instead of BC, BD plus DC. So, BD plus DC into BD plus DC and agade, BD plus DC whole square agade. Okay, na? So, a question again in the option and a koti dare in a triangle ABC and ADC. Here we are getting two triangles. So, there angle A is equal to 90 degree and here angle D is equal to 90 degree. Right. Next, alinani the angle C is common to both the triangle. Right. Therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADC. When it is both are similar triangle. Therefore, BC by AC is equal to AC by DC. Therefore, AC square is equal to BC into DC. So, hence it is proven. Next, important question, compulsory question. Prove that 7 plus root 3 is an irrational number or find HF of 72 and 120 by Euclid division lemma. So, let, let us consider 7 plus root 3 is a rational number. Right. So, P by Q is equal to 7 plus root 3. So, keep it root 3 one side and take it 7 this side. So, P by Q minus 7 agate, that is equal to root 3. Therefore, take LCM. So, P minus 7 Q by Q is equal to root 3. Therefore, P and Q are integers. Therefore, here what happened? LHS is equal to RHS. LHS is not equal to RHS. So, our assumption is a contradictory. So, 7 plus root 3 is an irrational number. Hence, it is a proved one. So, iriti madhre nimge exact 2 marks is igate. For that, we have an option HCF of 72 and 120 by Euclid division. So, let A is equal to 120, B is equal to 72. Therefore, we know that A is equal to BQ plus R. So, 120 is equal to 72 1 plus 48. So, the kurs 120 barat. 
so 72 is equal to 48 ones are plus 22 so tw uh, 48 is equal to 22 twos are 48 plus 0 therefore 24 is the hcf of 72 and uh, 120 so iriti maadi makla aga nimge two marks sigutte so you can choose the cons questions yavudu exact gottirutte adanna made and idu 100% nimma final exam ge baro question e agirutte question number 22 solve the formula solve by formula method x square plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0 so x square plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0 here we have to use the formula x is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so substitute all the value a is equal to 1 b is equal to 7 and c is equal to 12 so minus 7 plus r minus square root of 7 square minus 4 into 12 divided by 2 into 1 so do it 49 minus 4 agate divided by 2 49 in the sorry 48 agate can the 12 4 the 48 so 49 minus 48 mother the 1 birthday so that minus 7 plus or minus 1 divided by 2 so illi plus uh, 1 nigga yared value the plus 1 na minus 1 so write it two times x is equal to minus 7 plus 1 by 2 or x is equal to minus 7 minus 1 by 2 therefore x is equal to minus 6 by 2 agate x minus 3 and x minus 4 agate next question number 23 find the zeros of the polynomial 3x square minus 12x minus 15 and verify the relation between zero of polynomials and coefficient so in this question they have given p of x that is 3x square minus 12x minus 15 so zeros of the polynomials and p of x is equal to 0 therefore 7x square minus 12x minus 15 is equal to 0. Then you have to factorize. So 15 3 is how much? 15 3 is 45. So multiply 45 add 12. So that number you have to take that is 15 3 is only. So 3x square minus 15x plus 3x minus 15. So common and error. x minus 3, x minus 5 into 3x plus 3 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 5 and x is equal to minus 1. So, zeros of the polynomial is 5 and uh, minus 1. So, find out. Sum of the zeros is equal to minus b by a. That is, minus of minus uh, 12 by 3 are 4 birthday. Product of the zeros and c by a agate. Therefore, minus 15 by 3 are minus 5 agate. Next, uh, question number 24. In a box, coins are marked from 10 to 20. Find the probability of getting a coin picked randomly from the box which is multiple of 5. Well, in the total coins is 11 coins. Multiples of 5 is 10, 15, 20. n of e. Number of events 3, number of samples 11. Therefore, the probability of getting coin picked randomly from the box is 3 by 11. So, is to model it, 2 marks. Next fourth main answer the following questions. Makla e questions so, three marks e Hagagi three and four marks questions. I will explain in the next video. So if you want the continuation of video, please comment and I'll explain the, the continuation of this video. And thank you for watching this video.